Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. I got a feeling this is going to be one hell of a review. Hey, what's up everyone? Guess what? We're back here again with another action figure review. This time we have Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> so guys, this is not only going to be a review of Cosmic Ghost Rider, but this is going to be a comparison video as well. So I'm going to break out a lot of different figures from a lot of different genres. And we're going to do some comparisons. I'm going to break out some of my other figures that have uh, vehicles. Um, maybe another Ghost Rider figure and another Marvel figures. And other figures from other, like I said, other genres as well to do a comparison of this Ghost Rider, guys. Alright, there is nothing more to say. So, here is the side. There is the back of Cosmic Ghost Rider looking, freaking amazing dude <laughs> this this figure is uh, a figure that I've been waiting for for a while if, ever since I saw this guy I wanted to pick him up if you guys didn't see my review I did like a preview of this uh, of this uh, figure in his motorcycle or cosmic cycle should I say and also I did like a comic book review of uh, cosmic ghost rider so if you guys didn't see that check it out but I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to go ahead and slice this open, get to the reviewing. So if you guys don't know, there's my trusty Punisher knife. Speaking of Punisher, this is um, Frank Castle, the Punisher, as Ghost Rider. So if you guys are not familiar with Cosmic Ghost Rider, like I said, go to uh, my... Uh, my comic book review and it has the entire story of Ghost Rider. I did a, a story, a comic book review of the story of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Alright. So it has the Cosmic, or should I say the Ghost Rider logo in the back right there. The Ghost Rider logo right there on the top as well. All right, man, where the fuck do we start? <laughs> Dude, let's start with the motorcycle first. So let's take out all the pieces. It comes with his big cosmic ball. <laughs> uh, his big cosmic ball. Um, okay, so it has like these little lightning effects in there sparkling effects in there and I'm like looking I'm like okay how the hell does it plug in there but I'm guessing um you know what we'll put this off to the side because <laughs> I got a feeling that it pegs into this uh right here so so it does have a few twisty ties unclip those unclip those Let's take this out. Look at that. Look at this. Very nice piece, guys. I'm trying to get out this crap. Man, we'll leave it in there for now. Very nice. And it has the blue, uh, kind of translucent blue, like this ball has right here. He's got a big ball and a small ball. The detail of the, well, I guess we'll say cosmic rider it's very nice i like the detail to the seat right here growing up my uh my dad was a a motorcycle he, he loved motorcycles growing up and i remember you know when i was younger he would take me to uh to target oddly enough and i would buy action figures uh that had that were motorcycle related Never, I never got into motorcycles myself. I don't know why, I just never did. 
my brother owned a motorcycle briefly, but I, I, I never did. I never got into motorcycles. Probably because my, my father had a motorcycle accident before I was born. That kind, that left him handicapped, pretty much. So that's probably one of the main reasons why I never got into motorcycles. Okay. I don't know why I brought that up, but I did. So here is his chain fire slash whip. Very nicely detailed. Here is his guns. Slice this open. So his guns come with a fire effect. So there's one of his guns right there, and they're both pretty much the same. So you want to peg the fire onto there, like so. Dope. Love it. And just for the hell of it, let's take out Ghost Rider, because I know you guys are anxious to see Ghost Rider. And then these two, I don't know what these belong to. I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh, might as well take out this gun too. Why the hell not? Okay. Oh. I forgot the the base. The base blended in so well with the plastic. Okay, so let's take a look at Ghost Rider. Looking pretty cool, man. Looking really nice. I really like the detail of this Ghost Rider. I love the the blue and the kind of pinkle 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 the kind of pinkle pur pink purplish <laughs> spots he has on his body. I love these cosmic rings kind of like the rings of Saturn. I like the skull chest that he has right here. That's very awesome man. And the head this is really awesome too. Uh, man, did I? I just did a figure of this. What did I do? Oh yeah, of uh, Iceman. Uh, no, uh, not Iceman. Mr. Freeze, uh, who had a similar, who has a similar vibe. I might have to break out my Mr. Freeze character to do a comparison. There's the spikes on him as well. So let's check out his articulation while we got him in hand. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, his arms can bend bend and these are like plastic rubbery so they they seem pretty durable um i love i love the skull on his chest man wrist swivel legs can go out that much i love i love the silver sheen to it as well yeah your typical marvel Legends articulation, very nice man, very very nice figure guys. I have to admit, they did a really nice job. I love the skull too, the red skull with the, the flame effect, and he's got his helmet on there. So I guess when he's cruising through space, looking for space space bitches, he uh, is not affected by the uh, atmosphere of space. If there is the atmosphere or the weather conditions of space, I. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass. So, <laughs> ankle pivoting, ankle movements. So, let's check out his... And there's the back of him, if you guys want to see the back of him. He's pretty much silver. So, let's check out his ride. And then we'll check out his weapons. We'll do a measurement, and then we'll break out some comparisons. So, I'm guessing... This would have to plug into here, right? Hmm. 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 Okay, so we'll plug that into there. There's his ball. Look at this dude. His ball. Let's see, and this plugs into there like so, but wait a minute. Oh wait. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> I might need directions here. Okay, maybe these plug into here. Oh, his pistons. I see. His pistons probably plug in to there. I wish I would have watched other people's reviews. 
Or maybe no, these are his handlebars. I'm wrong. These are his handlebars. Wow, dude. I'm guessing they just kind of peg into there, like so. I was wondering what the hell they were. And this kind of pegs in to there, like so. Okay, so those were his handlebars. That shows you that I'm a fucking idiot. And am I missing something? So here's the two balls. Hmm. Okay, it seems like I was wrong again. So these actually peg into here, and this pegs into this middle piece right here. I was completely way, way off, dude. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and this pegs into here. The lightning pegs into there, like so. That pegs into there. So this way the lightning stays in there. Well, the lightning is supposed to stay in there. And then the two little curvatures right there, and then the lightning right here is supposed to peg in to there. And then this piece right here rotates. And then that's supposed to peg in. Son of a bitch! I guess you peg in the lightning first. I'm trying to peg it on in all at once, so this pegs into here. Oh, that's a that's a cool gimmick. I like that. So this way the lightnings are not going anywhere. And then you put you line up this right here, pop this in here, and boom. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, dude. I really, really like that, man. That is really awesome. I love the spear. There's the flame effect. The flame effect can be removed if you don't want the flame effect. But then again, if you don't, what the hell are you smoking on? I really like this, man. So, I was wrong with the guns. The guns are actually different. So, here are the guns. One gun is bigger than the other. And the guns can actually go into his pouch right here. Off to the side. Boom. Boom. If you don't want him having a gun, the other gun can go into this pouch, but I want him having a gun. So here is Ghost Rider holding his flaming chain. <laughs> People that are watching this review is like, this guy's a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> we already know. So here is Ghost Rider holding his gun, looking vicious. Put Ghost Rider on his motorcycle because that's what you guys want to see. Actually, let's put him on his base. So the base pretty much comes with the same kind of base that you got with your Professor X base. Love it. I love it. And Ghost Rider might have to bend his knees to get him on here. So Ghost Rider can look awesome. <laughs> Dude. So there is Ghost Rider, man, looking fucking cosmic, cosmically awesome. I didn't go to the uh, head articulation. He doesn't really have a head articulation. You can't really get his head to move. It just kind of looks in one direction. Unless I'm wrong, unless you can pop this off, which you can. And yeah, maybe, okay, I'm wrong again. Thank you, Ghost Rider, for making me look like a dumbass. So yeah, you can get his head to turn. It's not on a ball joint. You can get it to turn if you wanted to. And then pop back on his mask. Like so. Dude, I really like this piece, man. It's, it's kind of a work of art, man. A work of plastic art. They did an amazing job. The motorcycle looks great. Excuse me, the cosmic cycle looks great. <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of reminds me of a, a woman's period. Cosmic cycle. <laughs> when she gets mad. Are you, you're on your cosmic cycle again, aren't you? Um, I really love this piece, guys. I think they did an amazing job. Um, he's everything I thought he would be. There's really no surprises. Um, I really like this Ghost Rider, man. This... Ghost Rider is, is really nicely detailed. I love the 
the pipes. I love the flame effect. The pipes. I love the flame effect. I love the overall detail, the blue detail with the metal. The exhaust. That's what I meant to say. The pipes. The exhaust pipes. It's the same fucking thing. Um, the blue, the gun, the like I said, the fire effects. The fire effect for the gun, the fire effect for the head, and the fire effect for the flaming chain. And then you have the uh, jet propulsion fire effect as well. And the blue matches up with, you know, his, uh, I guess, wheel, his spear wheel, you know, the cosmic rings. Everything just goes together. It coordinates. His uh, gray metal, his gun gray metal uh, uniform matches up with his cosmic cycle. Everything goes together. Everything is color coordinated very well, man. And also the splotches, too, on his, on his, uh, on his uniform. Everything is done nicely, man. This is kind of a work of art, dude. All right, so let's do some comparisons with him and some other figures. All right, guys, so you know it's from time to time, I always love to break out this guy right here. He's the Marvel Select Ghost Rider. And, of course, when you buy this uh, Ghost Rider, you don't get this amazing Hell Demon motorcycle here, motorcycle chopper. It's actually a spawn uh, cycle violator chopper but he goes so well on it I decided to give him this uh, violator chopper but this is how they measure up he's the only ghost rider I have in my collection I never picked up the other ghost rider Marvel Legends ghost rider I definitely would love to pick him up but I I would I being that ghost rider such a popular character I know they're gonna re-release re him again um, but yeah this cosmic ghost rider is definitely worth the pick up but here is the side-by-side -side comparison of the Marvel Select Ghost Rider on the Violator Chopper next to Cosmic Ghost Rider on his Cosmic Cycle. Let's do some more comparisons. In a galaxy far, far away, Cosmic Ghost Rider. So here is Cosmic Ghost Rider on the uh, next to the Enfy Nest uh, speeder. I forget the, re uh, the name of this cycle. Um... But I figure we break him out because he's on a cycle. <laughs> I figure I'd do a comparison. So it's funny. This, this is both done by Hasbro. Of course, Star Wars. Uh, uh, Hasbro has the Star Wars license. And the bases are pretty much the same. So here's the base for the Enfy Nest. Here's the base for the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, yeah, and they're both from Hasbro, so, yeah, they're, I don't want to say very similar, they're from completely different universes, of course, one's from Marvel, one's Star Wars, but, yeah, who, who do you think would win in a race? I have no fucking idea, <laughs> so, let's break out some more vehicle and comparison, uh, do some more comparisons. Okay, guys, uh, another comparison that you probably would have wanted us to see is the Cosmic Ghost Rider next to Professor X. And I didn't realize, I thought it was the same base, but I probably was thinking of Enfy Nest. But yeah, he doesn't have the same base as Professor X. But I'm glad that they gave him the base because he looks freaking awesome. But this is how he sizes up with Professor X right there. Who wins this race? <laughs> I think Ghost Rider might, might win this race. But then again... Professor X has his uh, his psychic ability, and he can probably slow down Cosmic Ghost Rider. But then again, Cosmic Ghost Rider might be a little bit too powerful for Professor X. So, yeah, that's that's a tough one. All right, let's do some more comparisons. All right, and just for the hell of it, I thought I'd bring break out a vintage figure. So here is Cosmic Ghost Rider next to the Spawn Cycle right here. I'm just kind of breaking out all my vehicles <laughs> that I have. To do a comparison. So yeah, there's a little vintage review of the Spawn Cycle next to the Cosmic Cycle. New and the old come together. Alright, so I broke out some other Marvel Legends, some other figures to do a comparison with. So here's another, I guess, adaptation of Frank Castle. Uh, we have Frank Castle standing next to uh, the Punisher, War Machine Punisher. So, the Punisher gets around, doesn't he? <laughs> so, yeah, this is how they measure up, and they're, they're actually about the same height. So, you think this Cosmic Ghost Rider would look bigger, but no. He's actually the Marvel Legends height. We'll do some measurements after we do some comparisons. 
And to break out some other cosmic figures, here is Cosmic Ghost Rider standing next to Angela. And Angela actually is taller than Cosmic Ghost Rider. How is that possible? Cosmic Ghost Rider is actually not that big of a character, man. I guess, well, is Frank Castle that really... Is he Frank Castle really that big? I don't know. Uh, another comparison, cosmic comparison, we break out Gladiator right here. Gladiator overtowering Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, for some reason, I felt like this Cosmic Ghost Rider was bigger, but compared to other Marvel Legends, man, he's actually pretty small. And then, of course, the storyline of him and Thanos. So here's the Walmart exclusive Thanos next to Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I have my um, custom Ultimate Omega Thanos that I did more in the storyline of Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's why I created this guy. He, it's a character that doesn't really exist. He's kind of a combination of the Omega Thanos and the Ultimate Thanos. So, I just wanted to create a, a different Thanos and a different universe from a different universe, from a different multiverse, whatever you want to call it. And then, we have the Mr. Free, so they're both rocking. <laughs> I just did a, a, a review of this uh, Mr. Freeze, and it's weird how it works out, because they both or rocking the fish tank look right here so ideas you can tell ideas they mix and match between Marvel and DC obviously and other uh, other areas as well I mean if you guys are familiar with Lobo this cycle right here is cosmic cycle looks very much like a Lobo like Lobo's uh, cosmic cycle as well so yeah man so that's how Mr. Freeze and Cosmic Ghost Rider look. And the last comparison we'll do before we do some measurements. And there's also something else I want to show you as well. So here is uh, being stained with the Cosmic Realm here on Multiverse Realm. So here's Cosmic Ghost Rider with the Unchained Armored Superman. They actually go really well together, man. I think they would make a good team or, or some uh, fierce adversaries. And just for the hell of it being that we have Cosmic Ghost Rider right here, and he's rocking the flames, here's the Demo Goblin fire effect, and I just wanted to see, I don't think his feet is going to fit in here, because his feet might be a little bit too big, but I can try to put this, yeah, you can squeeze it in there if you want to, he's not going to stay though. Squeeze his boots in there, and then he's on the glider right there. He's not going to stay long, but if you want to, you can have him pose like that, just for the hell of it, because he he has the flame effects going on, and if you want something different, unique, and you don't really want him on the cycle, I don't know why you would not want him on the cycle, but hey, if you want to get another Cosmic Ghost Rider and uh, go down a different realm, I guess you can go down a different realm, so just, just for the hell of it, I just wanted to show you. Uh, show you that uh, guys okay so let's do some measurements of cosmic ghost rider because I'm curious to know how tall he really is I mean, I'm guessing he's standing at the six inch mark and he can barely stand because he's just built awkwardly so cosmic ghost rider stands at about just under six and a half inches so cosmic cycle um, is about going all the way up to his flame effect is about 14 inches about 14 inches going all the way up to the top he's about six and a half inches so guys what do I make of this cosmic ghost rider I think he's really awesome the detail is really nice do I think they could have done more? I, I always think Hasbro could could have done more, but for what he is, he's actually a really nice piece, man. Uh, at the forty dollar mark, it's it's a good price. A forty dollar mark is a good price. I paid a little bit more, more than what I wanted to with this uh, figure, 
But I'm glad I have this guy in my collection because this is one of the Marvel Legends that I've wanted to add to my collection for a while now. I'm glad I have him in my collection and I really like him. So overall, the, uh, the entire piece, uh, I'm going to give a solid 9. I think he's that awesome, guys. Uh, a solid 9 out of 10. Um, I think he's really nice. They did an amazing job. This is definitely going to be one of the top 10 figures of 2020. Um, he, he, he's definitely going to be in the top 10, somewhere in the top 10. You know Hasbro is going to come out with something more awesome than this. But as of right now, he, he's probably at number one for, 20, for 2020. But then again, you know, things, things do change. We still have an entire year to go. It's only January, if you guys are watching this review, the end of January. So, yeah, man. Awesome piece. I highly recommend it. If you love, if you love badass things, man, uh, you definitely should pick up this Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think he's that awesome. All right, guys. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Tell me what you guys think of this review. Um, uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, epic reviews like this. And I do mean this guy is epic, man. He's really epic. Really an awesome piece. We'll go ahead and leave it at that, and I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye!